Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. So, the other week I made a video about my childhood stories that I wrote as a way to learn my spellings when I was in primary school, maybe six to eight, probably seven years old. And today I'm going to continue reading you those stories. So this is going to be like the final video in this series, it's a two part series, unless I find some more, which I don't think I will. Okay, I just glanced under two stories on this page. Probably written around the same time because they're both written in the Times New Roman font, but they contain a lot of names of people I know and still know. So I will, rather than just say an entire name, I'll just give them an initial. <sighs> because I don't want to make things awkward. Story one is Alice in Wonderland in this beautiful word art. Once a little girl called Alice. One day Alice was playing in a field of rabbits and squirrels when she saw three little girls called I, Z and S. Suddenly Alice saw her big sister called M. The next day they played bunny and seek Zo Zoe. And it's Zoe. I'm going to just keep saying Zoe. The next day they played bunny and seek and Zoe won twice. After that the girls had cheese and butter sandwich with salt and vinegar hula hoops. Salt and vinegar hula hoops are like my favourite crisps of all time and I don't know why I put cheese and had specified butter sandwich because I really don't like cheese sandwiches. Em didn't like cheese that much, nevertheless, big word for seven year old me, she ate it. Meanwhile the rabbits were playing bunny and seek. Later on they had I's birthday party. S and Alice both won past the parcel, however S didn't want Alice to win because she didn't like Alice. Finally they went to bed. Zoe wasn't tied, so she asked I to read one of her poems to her. At last they both felt tired and eventually they fell asleep. The End by Tegan Anderson. So this one is called The Clown School. Beautiful red font, there's like a weird mark there, which might be some kind of like pasta sauce. It's orange, it's interesting. But I don't remember writing this. I remember writing this, Alice in Wonderland. And I have memories of the other ones, but this is like the only one I don't fully remember. Once there was a clown. His name was Lewis. Lewis's birthday is November the 5th, 2007. I think that might have been when I wrote this. He lived at... That's my address. Lewis went to... And that's my primary school. At school he played with J, T and Zoe. One day Lewis moved school. He felt very sad and cried a lot. At Lewis's new school the children showed him around. At school Lewis had complicated sums. He multiplied and divided the maths. They used a pencil to write with. I remember that because it was a very big thing at our primary school that they wouldn't let you write in pencil. You had to use like a pen. I made like specific handwriting pens. And apparently I yeah, might have been a little angry about that. Then it was a assembly about caring and loving. After that it was playtime. Lewis, T, Zoe and Jay decided to play clown school. At home time Lewis closed the door of the classroom and he went home. Believe it or not. The end. This next one is in a font I hate a lot. I don't know if you can see this but I'll just hold it up anyway. I really hate this font. <laughs> Okay, I can't read it. This one's called Little Elephant and I remember, I don't remember writing it, but I remember picking up the font because that was a very big thing for me back in the day. Loved a good font. Little Elephant. Once there was a little elephant called Ellie. Ellie loved to read while she ate a favourite treat. Ellie had a little favourite seat that was the colour beige. Beige is one of the words I had to learn and I asked my mum what it was and she just like pointed to the carpet in her bedroom and goes, that's it. The tea, Ellie and her baby brother Paul has potatoes and tomatoes. Then like usual, usual has been italicised. Ellie played with a toy donkey called Donk. The next day Donk had a cold. He needed a big tissue. Tissue was a word we had to learn. He was sat on Ellie's favourite seat watching television. Later Ellie went to the old haunted house. She went with Brendan the bird and Dylan the dolphin. 
in case they got hurt, Ellie's dad killed the ghost. The end. And this one's called Polly's Purple Puzzle Piece, which is writ it's written on these beautiful purple puzzle pieces. It took me a long time to drag out the shape and like slide them together because I'm pretty sure I didn't just copy and paste each one. This story is about a five-year-old girl called Polly. Polly had moved from her house in France to live in a small cottage next to the jungle. Early one morning she woke up and walked to the place where dinosaurs had died. She began digging one up when she found a purple puzzle piece in the hole. As soon as she felt the smooth surface of the piece, all around her was a desert. Polly was so shocked that she dropped the puzzle piece with her mouth wide open. Polly picked up the puzzle piece and started to walk along the burning hot sand. She had to hop because she left her shoes at home. She left her shoes at home when she was going on an adventure to dig up dinosaur skeletons from a hole. Five minutes later, Polly fell onto the sand just before a sandstorm had come. She fell asleep through it, but woke up after. Because that's the thing that happens, just sleeping through a casual, life-threatening sandstorm. When Polly woke up, she found herself back in the jungle, next to the hole. That's strange, where is the puzzle piece, she thought. In the corner of her eye, Polly could see the piece in the hole. She didn't want to pick it up, or she would be back in the desert. The End by Tegan Anderson. That was a thrilling adventure. There's a lot of twists and turns, a big plot. It's a big plot twist at the end that I did not expect. So, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, comment and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye! Oh my god. So, this is a poem I just found in here. At the bottom it says by me, age 8, and this is written entirely in neon gel pens with a bright yellow highlight of stars all over it. And I'll just quickly read this one for you. The sun is down, the moon is up, we're having fun, just all of us. The earth was quiet, space was not, the universe was angry when Mars got shot. The stars were alive, apparently Mars isn't anymore. The people were too. The universe fell asleep, including me and you. By me, age eight. That was beautiful.